Hey, what's up guys? Today is Friday and I've been in the shop most of the day uh, getting things ready for Sunday's release. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what's going on um, with that project. I, I'm done with it, but I'll show you what I did. Uh, so today we released, Jay and I released uh, the second episode of I Get Email. Like I said, this is Jay's, uh, Jay's baby and um, he asked me to join him. Uh, as a co-host so that's what I'm doing we're having fun with that and so today was about uh, workbenches and work tables and that kind of thing yes Joel I saw your uh, comment that was your question so uh, another another guy had a question about what is a torsion box um, it's basically a grid uh, of any kind of material to create this strong tabletop or uh, type of surface to where you can actually put a piece of plywood or any other material on top of it and it makes it really beefy it's strong uh, and flat so uh, let me see if I can show you this is my assembly table and it's got somewhat of a torsion box under it um, you kind of see these little let's see if we can get some shots of this so you kind of see these runners here and going this way and one going that way and this is going here and that it's just kind of a torsion box style just like that you can see that runner there that one and so it's just a, a grid of plywood or whatever you're you're using um, so so yeah that's that's basically a torsion box. Uh, I decided to do that on my assembly table just to get that beefiness on, on the tabletop to make it heavy, to make it flat, make it thick. Because uh, I, I knew I wanted to use, I used plywood for the entire thing. So I, a torsion, torsion box style top was the best option in my situation, I think. So I uh, hope that answers your question. If not, um, I think I left a comment and said to Google torsion box table and there are tons of pictures on uh, on the internet so check that out but yeah so we're having fun with that and so I guess you've realized that we're going back and forth so the next episode next week will be in Jay's shop um, and then the following will be in my shop if nothing happens you know that's that's our plan so uh, we're gonna stick with that so I didn't get anything done to the to the uh, to the rocker today i didn't do anything with it uh, so this is pretty much glued um i mean it this is uh, done as far as i'm concerned as far as the fixing uh, the cracks or whatever i'm just happy that it's holding it holding up so now i can put the band back on it and a lot of you guys said just leave the rust on it and i think that's what i'm going to do i may just kind of wipe it down with a with a real soft rag or something just to get the you can kind of see it on my finger uh, it will rub off but I'm not we're not gonna be using it so I, I, don't, I don't think there'll be any issue with that I do like the the um, character that it's got that old uh, barrel look and, and metal rings with rust really cool um, so I'm glad I'm glad that's been a part of my childhood. Uh, another guy said that, and I was calling it, it looks like an old whiskey barrel, but another guy, Clyde, I think, um, can't remember who said that, I think that's who it was, said it was like for, what did he say? I don't forget now. Um, like, you know, like holding different fruits or vegetables or whatever. Uh, so it wasn't like, wasn't like a whiskey barrel, but he, he dated it and everything. So. It, I guess this was a like a miniature looking I'm gonna keep calling it whiskey barrel because that's what it looks like so I have to I have to do some research on that for the video and uh, throw some you know maybe some other images or uh, tell the story of you know where this style chair came from or something I think that'd be pretty cool so all right, let me give you a uh, sneak peek of what's going on out here All right, so we got uh, the shelf. It's got all the helmets on it and everything, and then the bike racks. And so 
Uh, all these bikes have a, their own home. And then uh, the scooters stand up on their own, so that's really helpful. And then we have the uh, ball bin there. I put in the uh, bungee cords and I put in eye bolts. And so that just lifts out. And so that was really easy to do. And so it helps keep all the balls in its place. And then got another little bu bucket here. So it's definitely, uh, definitely handy and keeps everything in its place. So anyway, um, get back in the shop. Got to oil that door, it's pretty squeaky. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about the garage, man. It's, uh, it's helped out treme a tremendous amount uh, with the toys laying around in the yard on just all over the carport. And we have a wagon out there. I don't know if you saw that, but that's where all uh, like small toys, I tell them that's their, their toy box, out outdoor toy box. They can just wheel it around the yard and throw everything in it and uh, put it pull it back up on the carport. So it works out really good. So that's, uh, it's going to help. I really, really, really like it so far. So, all right, guys, that's all I got for today. I'm going to try to get this rocking chair done um, this weekend and maybe Monday and get it done early so I can get a jump on the next project. I want to try to get ahead a few projects just to, uh, you never know what might happen. So that's my plan. You guys have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you Monday. Later.